I'm thinking after being here for about, what, almost four months now, I think, it, I don't think it's viable to keep it here. What's up guys? So today I've been doing two things. I am letting one location know that I am just not making enough money there and I need to move the machine out and I'm not gonna tell them that I'm placing it somewhere else. But I then have a meeting with a new place, which is a nursing home. They seem very interested in having it. They just want me to come see how big the space is. So I have my measuring tape with me and we are going to see if my machine will fit, which it will. Think positive. They have some rules about how they want the machine to be um, placed there because some of the some of the residencies there have diabetes, so they don't want everyone to have complete access to the machine, but nurses will get things for them to take it to them. So if you guys have a nursing home, how do you handle places talking about people with diabetes? Was it a, a topic when you guys went to go talk to the people there about people, certain people not being allowed to use the machine let me know down below it's a completely new realm for me with this type of location but i am excited and hopefully by the end of this video i am showing you me put my machine into the nursing home that is my goal for the end of this video of course this is my first meeting with him so and today is monday so hopefully by saturday it will be placed if not that means that one he didn't want it which i doubt that's gonna happen or two, which is more likely, is that the person that I get my machine from is not back from vacation from Puerto Rico yet. And I'll just have to wait for him and then we can move it there. So let's go because I am not excited to tell this person I have to move my machine. You guys want to see the most pathetic pool ever? Let's go look inside. This is for one month. One month. This machine is not gonna stay here. I can't. And I know people told me to keep it here, but there you go. This is why it needs to be moved. Take a look at the coins. Nothing. So it's official, I am going to move this machine into the nursing home, so we're gonna go to that meeting right now. I'm thinking after being here for about, what, almost four months now? I think it, I don't think it's viable to keep it here because the, the stuff is spoiling okay. and the amount that I've made just isn't enough to replenish what I've already put in here like okay. this hasn't even been paid off yet the of the food right. so I know we had a commission 10% with with Craig but there was no commission to, to make because it all went back to the food so I don't know if I sh if it's a great idea to keep it here. Oh, okay. At least with what it's doing right now. I don't. I see you guys are. You have like all this cool stuff now. Right. But I just don't know if I can afford to keep it here right now. Well, you have to make a business. I, you know, I understand yeah. that. This, you know, you have to make a business decision to say whether you're. You know. I'm financially yeah. stable enough to keep it here like yeah. that. Uh, How about I take this out and I put a gumball machine. <laughs> No, because gumball, they, they'll chew gum and throw it on the floor. Well, not the actual gumball. It's called a gumball machine, but like peanut, peanut M&M's, peanut Skittles. It's a quarter. Nobody can complain about a handful of Skittles. Yes. So what about that? Let's put it at the front. That way people who are buying stuff can get some. I would say, uh, on that, I would say, you know, talk to Craig about that. Um, I did tell Russell that I do like coming here so I could take that out and replace it with a small gumball machine with like peanuts and M&Ms if you would like that. That would be something definitely they'll do. Tell Russell about, <laughs> Russell spent $100 a week on that. All right, so next time I come back, I'm going to move the machine and replace with the gumballs. That way I can keep talking to you guys because I really like hanging out over here. Cool, that's what's up. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Anytime. That was much easier than I expected it to be. Now, because I'm getting rid of a, of a vending machine, I took away that cell, but I've upsold myself with a gumball machine. So I'm going to move this machine next week, or hopefully by the end of this week, and replace it with a gumball machine and see how well that does. So wish me luck. Let's go to this meeting at the nursery home. Nursing home, not nursery. So they want to get rid of this machine. All right, so I'm in front of the building sitting in front of their sitting on their rocking chair the place has about 70 or 80 employees They have healthy vending there and he was like no one uses this So he has to call them to get them out and I told him if you do that within a week I could have my machine there, but well, I 
told the person today I was moving my machine and I already have a new place to put it in, so I'm happy. All right, guys, I was actually just about to go to the gym and then I see my NYX credit reader is here. I'm going to try to install this tomorrow. Okay, so we're gonna be trying to put this on today by myself. And if I mess up, someone else is gonna have to step in. Like by, him. By herself. He's gonna step in if I mess up. Because and there's, then, so, there's so many people here. <laughs> and then Scott's gonna step in if he doesn't know what he's doing. By herself. I'm gonna start out by myself. To put the credit card reader, I have to unscrew this. Go ahead. <laughs> so I was right. Maybe did I do this right? I don't know, you're doing it yourself. Did I do this right? <laughs> yeah, it just needs to be tightened up right So we're putting these back in right here. So we have the machine up. And you're going to put the screws back in here. I think new AMS machines, you don't have to drill through the machine. It, the back of it just comes off. You don't have to drill. The face plate. Face plate. <laughs> this comes in the box. This one. It comes in the box with this one. You're going to hook it up into here. This side goes into this baby right here, the reader. We have these two. This black wire comes from this box. It's going to plug up or up here. Take the black cord and twist it onto here. So next, last wire is this big boy at the bottom. This fat black has a black tip into your MDB. This black tip one goes into the MDB. I think is what I need that these two Splitter. splitters go here, one here, one here. We're just gonna try it. I could be completely wrong. When you're dealing with MDB, never plug or unplug an MDB if when the machine, machine is, is on. plugged on. Yeah, always unplug your machine. Mm -hmm. Okay. See that little plug right there? That clips? Not. Oh, uh, yeah. I just couldn't get it in with your hand right there. Okay, so perfectly clipped in. Okay, so we got the credit card reader in and the machine's ready to be put snacks in. Scott has to update the machine since he just put a new circuit board in and then that might tell us why the system didn't turn on because it's a new circuit board so it has to be programmed. So we'll see but I'm excited. Tomorrow supposedly we were supposed to put the machine in the warehouse and in the nursing home but because there is a lockdown on schools right now because of the virus we are going to have to work around Scott's schedule to get it delivered because he's going to have his 11 year old daughter so I will keep you guys updated hopefully we'll have a new video Wednesday hey guys just want to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Webull if you open up an account with them they will give you two free stocks the first one is for just merely opening the account with them and the second free stock is just deposit it any amount that you are able to afford and they give you these two free stocks to start you off with your financial freedom I started investing in 2019 and that's how I was able to put my payment down on my vending machine business creating generation wealth millennial money so go ahead and do it down below use my link to free stocks free money who doesn't like that so use my link down below and let's get back to the video Don't be a stuck in the cage. About to go pick up a cane, kill all of these weapons and stand in my way. 
popped up like a pop tart straight heat from a cold heart. Drive the car like a go kart on the track like a deal. Urge it was a fuck, but I gave you a head start. Hoping that I'm far short, doing real good for the most part. Pass me the ball, you on my court. Drop to get smoked like a Newport. Think you the dog, but it's all bar. Take your ass down to the dog.